love you for so many reasons, but the ones I think about most are how excited we are to see each other from long distance with year, a year's wait to even getting back home from work, even when we just saw each other at lunch. Finding magic in the days and nights as they're unfolding. Writing stories with the stars. What, uh, what we're celebrating today is something beautiful. It's your two lives coming together as one. It's about beauty, it's about joy, it's about laughter. Um, it's two years waiting for your wedding, and here we are, we made it. I'll go anywhere with you In the sunlight or underneath the moon It was August 17th, 2013. You and I were standing at the U.S. check-in area at the Vancouver airport. I was leaving for Korea. You and I had only known each other for about two months. A part of me thought this guy is going to stick around. Nine years later and throw in a global pandemic, look at where we're standing. In the steady breeze, we feel the rush of expectation. I love the way you look at me when we make each other laugh when we talk about the adventures we've been on and future adventures to come. I love how you always want to nap in the middle of TV shows. I love how over all the long distance we did, every time we spoke, we fell more in love. And every time we saw each other, it was harder to be apart. You're worth the many years of wait, the long distance we did, worth the wait, and finally together forever. knows our love story so I'm going to take this time after all this time to say my vows to you I'm so proud of you Robert and I'm so honored to become your wife I love how supportive you are how caring you are and how kind you are and how patient you are especially over the past few months with my excessive crafting <laughs> and I also love how loving you are to me and to my family do absolutely nothing together but on the other hand I love the adventure that we have shared so far in our lives a letter from heaven it comforts my spirit knowing all our family and friends are here to celebrate you and Rob and your union in love Last weekend, I attended my aunt and uncle's 50th anniversary, and so it seemed fitting today that I share two pieces of advice that they shared with me for a happy and successful marriage. The first thing that they said was routine. Maybe they'll just be saying I love you every night before bed. Whatever it is, make time for each other and make it happen every day. Their second piece of advice was to respect how the other is feeling. Let the journey take you away. We got what it takes. Here we go. All we need is an open road and a chance to see a never ending world that's beautiful. Robert, welcome to our family. And what a great match you are for Myrna. She picked well. But I'm not surprised why and how she gravitated towards someone like you. You have balanced her. You truly do complement each other. But most importantly, we all see your unending loyalty and love to her. I promise to make you laugh and smile every day, to take care of you always, share my pizza and chicken wings with you. 
and I promise to support you in every way, to be there for you by your side. I love you with all my heart and cannot wait to call you my wife. Here we go! for being amazing, kind, beautiful, and I wonder how I got so lucky. I promise to love you unconditionally, to be there for you, and support you in good times and in bad, and to take care of you forever. I love you with all my heart. Now, since you, Robert, and you, Myrna, have consented together in marriage, made your covenant to each other in the presence of these witnesses, by the authority of the province of British Columbia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Here we go! Begin.